after the finale, everyone is furious with everyone, and then they find out the show's been picked up. And so they're going to be forced now with all this crap to live together and make a show. I think Matt at the end feels like I fucked my dear friend's wife, I broke his heart, I destroyed their marriage, but we got picked up. <laughs> And that's really what matters in L.A., in Hollywood. That, for us, rings very true. It's that feeling of, yes, there's all this crap, but bottom line, we've got a show on the air. Woohoo! Huh? Because of budgetary considerations, we shot it out of order. So the last scene was actually done the first week. And what's amazing to me is how they could find the emotion before they actually experienced that. You're the one person in the whole world I thought I could trust. You can. I love you. There was a tremendous amount of work that the actors had to do to stay in the correct emotional place throughout. That's enough talking. What are you doing? Hey, put that down. Are you crazy? We wrote the entire fight scene. Beat for beat. Beat for beat. And as we'd watch, we'd think, you know what would be funny? For example, there's a scene where the, uh, Matt and, and Stephen are behind the sofa. And I said, every time Stephen starts to get away, <laughs> you know, we sort of started piecing things together that way. Or we realized there were the, uh, a big box of the, the styrofoam uh, peanuts. peanuts. And we said, try throwing those. You know, we wanted it to be as silly and at the same time real. That was the line to walk, because it had to be funny, but it had to seem genuinely violent. When Stephen is walking on his knees with the cactus, that happened kind of on its own, and we kind of embellished it. And Stephen was the one who realized that he needs to discover the cactus by backing into it. So there was a lot of playing that went on those days. And the actors were great. I mean, those guys, they went for it. What happened to your eyes? Your lover tried to blind me. He had a cactus. I think it's a nightmare ending for Sean and Beverly. I think it's a nice ending for Matt. But I think, oh my God, they're stuck. They're trapped in hell. In hell. I don't think Sean and Beverly would ever wish to trade their love and their marriage for success of a TV show. But they have no choice now. They are forced to continue and... and I, I don't know what's going to happen.